There is big news in the 3D industry. In case you do not know, Megascans is one of the largest libraries of high quality 3D assets. It contains 3D objects and textures that were scanned from real life. They're used in everything from video games to movies, and there's over 14,000 assets. For the past five years, the Megascans library has been free to use for Unreal Engine. If you want to use the library in another program like Blender, you have to pay for it. The great news is that starting sometime next month up to the end of this year, the Megascans library will be free, not just for Unreal Engine, but for all 3D programs. That means you can use these assets in Blender, Unity, Maya, and any program that supports 3D objects. All of the Megascan assets you grab will be yours forever, so you can keep using them for all of your future projects. But this will not last forever. At the start of next year, Megascans will no longer be free. And what came as a surprise to a lot of us is that Megascans will no longer be free for Unreal Engine anymore. That means we have to purchase each asset individually or buy them in packs for Unreal starting in 2025. You can start grabbing Megascan assets next month when Fab launches. Fab is Epic Games' brand new marketplace for 3D assets. It is combining the Unreal Marketplace, Megascans, Sketchfab, and the ArtStation store together into one massive platform where you can buy or sell 3D objects, environments, special effects, or any asset that can be part of games or movies. It's in Fab where you will grab the free Megascan assets. When Fab launches, there will be another video on this channel covering the new marketplace, and I will walk you through the process of getting those assets and keeping them. So subscribe for that future video. This is why Megascans will temporarily be free for everyone, because it is promoting the new marketplace, making sure other creators who use different programs other than Unreal Engine will join Fab. Fab is meant to be a marketplace for the entire 3D industry, not just Unreal. So if you want to get into 3D, whether that is with Blender or Unreal, or you think you might try out one of these programs in the future, then the Megascans library is a must have. When Fab releases, you have to grab these assets because they will only be free for a few months. And when you get them, they are yours forever in your Fab library. Now, there has been a lot of confusion around Megascans not being free for Unreal. People started panic downloading assets from Quixel Bridge, which is where we currently get Megascan objects. But there is no guarantee that the free assets you get in Bridge will move over to Fab. The CEO of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney, replied to one of my tweets saying that assets will be free from Fab's launch to the end of 2024. Get them for free in that time frame, and you'll own them forever. So we have to wait until Fab releases, join it, and then start grabbing the Megascan assets. Not right now. Unfortunately, starting in 2025, Megascan assets will no longer be free for us Unreal Engine users when they have been for the past five years. Now, a single Megascan asset that was free will cost $1. So all the 14,000 assets will cost a dollar each. There is the option to buy Megascans in packs to get a bunch of them at once, which will be $25. We can also buy procedural asset kits for $5. We do not know what this is yet. My guess is it has something to do with procedural content generation. In my opinion, Megascans is worth the price. They are the best assets and it's incredible that we had them for free for so long and we have a short opportunity to make sure we keep them forever. But I am concerned that it will make Unreal Engine significantly harder for new users in the future when Megascans is paid for. Learning Unreal Engine is challenging and the goal of this channel is to make the process as easy as possible. Tens of thousands of people have started using Unreal through videos on this channel, and new users have continually told me how much they love Megascans. It feels like opening up a box of Legos and seeing what is creatively possible with all the pieces. Megascan assets are the Lego pieces that we can use to build amazing environments. The library plays a huge role to help onboard new creators into Unreal and keep them using the engine. Now, without these pieces, learning Unreal will become more challenging. New users will have to consider the cost of each individual asset, and they don't know how enjoyable it is to create environments from a large asset library. I am concerned that this might hurt Unreal's growth. A possible solution is to keep some of the assets in the Megascans library free, specifically the Megascan assets that are already being used in the sample content. The sample content are those amazing environments and demos that showcase Unreal's new features. 
like the Matrix City demo and recently the Electric Dreams environments. You can download these projects for free and open them up to see how Epic Games created them. The majority of these environments are made using Megascans and we could transfer these assets into our own projects. For example, in the future, if I want to use these cliffs, instead of paying for them, I could just download the Valley of the Ancients demo, find those cliffs, and then migrate them into my project. And now I can use them without paying. To make it easier for creators, since these assets are already free, I think they should remain free on Fab. So we could quickly drag and drop them into our environments without having to go through the migration process. This makes environment creation much more accessible, especially for people just starting Unreal. Because if they try to migrate, they might encounter issues and it is a lot more work to get each asset working. Making world building as smooth and easy as possible is essential to keep people learning Unreal. So hopefully Epic Games will keep the mega scans that are in the sample content free for all the new scans and the rest of the library that could be paid for. Now, the big question is why after five years, Epic Games will start charging for mega scans. You might think that is because they want a new revenue source. And while this probably played a part in their decision, I do not think that's the main reason why. This is my opinion, but I think they're doing it because they want Fab to be an even playing field and encourage 3D creators to start selling assets on it. By having 14,000 amazing high quality assets for free, it devalues other asset packs on the marketplace that are paid for. For example, if someone is selling 3D scan boulders for $25 and there are a bunch of free mega scan boulders in the same marketplace, then the odds of people paying for these types of assets are pretty low. But if the mega scan boulders are no longer free and now cost $25, this changes the perceived value. So consumers are more likely to buy from other creators that aren't Epic Games. This encourages users to spend more and for more asset creators to join the Fab Marketplace because they're not competing with a bunch of free assets. It levels the playing field for the asset creators, making it easier to sell their products. This is why I think it changed. Whether you agree with the decision or you don't, it is for the long-term goal of Fab being the main 3D marketplace for all 3D programs. Let me know what you think in the comments and also whether or not you like this decision. Make sure to subscribe because in the next video, I will cover how to get these scans when Fab releases. Also, follow me on Twitter so you get Unreal Engine news right when it happens. If you want to learn Unreal, I have a complete free beginner tutorial on my channel. Both the link to the video and my Twitter are in the description. I will see you next time.